Hey guys, it's Victoria, and today I want to do for you some basic strip club etiquette. So let's get started. So number one is if you sit at the stage, make sure that you tip. That's kind of the idea is like a waitress, you know, who works off tips. Strippers work off tips, so like even if the waitress, you know, she's not your favorite waitress. Like I just saw this recent Onion article where they were like, second waitress doesn't have the same spark as Andrew, the first waiter. Like, even if the stripper isn't as good as the one you liked, still tip. Just tip everyone, you know, just tip a dollar. Like, you can spare a dollar. If you can't spare a dollar, just don't go to the strip club because the strip club experience is based on, like, you having lots of dollars. Like, that's the only way it's fun. And just wrap your head around that and um, you will have a great time. Like, it's not the cheapest of activities, but it's definitely, like, worth it and really fun. Number two is, um, when you want to talk to a stripper, don't just reach out and, like, grab her and, like, think that's okay. Just, like, ask if you have to or just, you know, speak to her or use your words, but don't be some, like, creepy dude who's just, like, groping, like, okay, no. So, yeah, um, number three is if you don't want a lap dance, um, just say you don't want one. No need to lie or make an excuse or be like, oh, come back later or like any number of dumb things people say when they just don't want one and that's completely fine. And if you just say like, if someone asks you, do you want a lap dance, just say like, uh, no, I don't. That's completely fine, but don't like just lie. It just makes it so much worse. Or try to avoid by like no eye contact or just like, blocking someone out or like ignoring them just just use your words and like say no and like they will understand it's a lot better that way okay number four is when you're doing a lap dance um either ask at the beginning like what she is okay with what the rules are like some strippers they are more comfortable with others than being touched on their like legs or something but if the rules are no touching and she says no touching Please follow the rules because that will make it actually a lot better dance for you because one thing you might not know is that if you start touching a stripper and she doesn't want to be touched, she will get up and give you like an air dance trying to get as far away as possible from you. She will have like a disgusted feeling inside, be like inwardly hating you. So why not just follow the rules and you will get a much better experience. Maybe she will even enjoy giving it to you and you guys can become friends or whatever so yeah um next one is strippers are very smart human beings but they may be pretending to be dumb to appease certain fragile men's egos so don't assume like strippers are dumb and be like oh you seem very smart like how um weird it's like it's really not weird. Everyone is smart, but they may have just been smart enough to pretend to be dumb so that you think you're like this great, intelligent dude who has so much advice to impart. There's my you know, feminist side coming out there. Well, I'm of course feminist, but there's my angry feminist side coming out. Now, anyway, um, next one is don't dangle a dollar in front of someone's face because you want more attention. Like, a lot of guys will, like, hold the dollar, and I'm like, you're going to take it. They'll be like, oh, 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 look, it's mine. Like, you want it. You can't have it. Like, last night, this guy, he, like, took out this big stack of dollar bills, and he was just like, I just asked him if he wanted a lap dance, and he said, why would I get a lap dance in the room when you'll just, um, I could just, like, show you money, and you'll do it for me right here. And I was just like, um no I won't like people get like a power trip when they have a dollar I'm like dude I don't need your dollars like a thousand other dollars in this room like I get by walking like one step whatever it's just really stupid just you know don't be cheap with the dollar bill like just a lot a lot of dollar bills and just you know hand them out otherwise just like do a cheaper activity maybe google a list of like buzzfeed like 10 cheap things to do that don't cost any money Anyway, um, another etiquette thing is strippers like having money thrown at them, so don't be like, oh, I find it, I think it's, like, degrading to, like, crumple up this dollar bill and, like, throw it. No, that's actually a compliment to a stripper. And there's really nothing, like, wrong with, um, 
giving someone that money. I mean, that is kind of the, the job. And as long as you don't do some, like, gross thing, like, if you're just showing your appreciation by giving them money, it doesn't matter if it's crumpled up, if you make it rain on them. Like, it's fun. I love it. Like, it's really cool. And um, the last one I have is get a lap dance. They are fun. Like, they, they honestly are fun. And, like, some guys just take it way too seriously. Like, oh, I don't like the, the tease and everything. It's like, yeah, it it is a tease. Like, that is the point. Like, the point is not to, um, you know, start a relationship and, like, you know, bring the girl home. Like, please just understand that this is, like, an entertaining activity that is a tease, and you should just not take it too seriously, but just enjoy the moment, be like, oh my god, that was crazy, that was fun. That's it, like, you really don't need to think of it as, like, this deep and, um, thing, which is, like, somehow immoral or whatever, like, think of it as entertainment, okay? A teasing entertainment. You know it's a tease, so just, like, kind of laugh it off, so don't take it too seriously, okay? <sighs> but, um, lap dances are really fun, and that's kind of, like, what there is to do at a strip club. Like, if you don't get lap dances, I don't think you're really gonna have as much fun as a strip club. So, yeah, that's my thoughts, and I will think of some other etiquette. But those are some good basic ones to start with, so hope you enjoyed, and bye.